<laughs> Throw yourself down. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's call this meeting, first meeting of uh, 2017 to order, please. First order of business would be the minutes. Minutes from the December 20th meeting. I had an opportunity to review those. Motion to approve is presented. Motion to approve by Sam Hutchins. Is there a second? Second by Jerry Hahn. All approved, say aye. Aye. Disapproved. Motion will carry. Next would be your bills, and there's uh, quite a few uh, uh, transfers here. That we're in close to our, we're in our sixth month of the fiscal year, so we want to catch up on our transfers. These are mostly internal transfers. If you have any specific questions, let us know. Bas basically, you're moving money, the line items, you get extra money, you move it up, and shift it around. Each specific line item to be under budget. So we keep everything in the same category. We just move the budget to numbers. That's a whole lot easier now than it used to be yes. with computers. Mm -hmm. uh, one question, Brandis. Mm -hmm. On that uh, 100 tons of hot coal mix, what about the quality? Is it working? It's working better. I think part of the issue was when I originally was complaining about it was it was like 15 degrees for <laughs> leading up to when was using it. According to Kroger, the last time they used it, it worked well because he went out and inspected it and it was still tacky even after he got out there. That's so we're going to ride it for a little while. I did get a hold of Mago and emailed him about that. So uh, that, they honestly said when it's that cold, it's going to be less pliable. Well, I see we got the bill on the tree. Right. No, it, it's, it's doing better. Okay. I see uh, we got a new welder for out the road. We never had a welder. Well, we had a stick welder, I should take it back. Oh, well, now we've got a mix. Correct. They were trying to do stuff with that stick welder. Yeah, yeah. It's just, oh, yeah. With all the new system stuff, you know. No, right. And the EMS Squad 38 insurance, insurance. Is that the one the motor blew? No, no, no. no. That's the burnt trucks that we had fire in. Okay, let's take a definition. We paid thirteen thousand. Uh, we prepared it for a little over six with some five at Conway's and a uh, little bit of other stuff. We didn't do cosmetically, so it'll be back on the road and we had change left over from insurance. Uh, so this is the one we had the new motor in? Yes. Okay. This is the one we did and the judge and I debated and debated on whether we wanted to take a chance on it and for the money and the quote that it, we got to fix it. We felt we couldn't go wrong on giving it a shot. Because we gave it a shot the first time to do it, so yeah. it was just like the second time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm going to punch you back to the Thank you. Second, Second by Bernard Ice. Any further discussion? All approved. Say aye. 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 Disapproved. The motion will carry. Okay. Uh, next order of business would be appointment to the North Nelson Water Board. Uh, uh, Bobby Robert Manning, the Green Manning. Greenville, uh, who wishes to continue to serve on the North Nelson Water District Board, and the board seems pleased with his uh, uh, participation. Entertain a motion to approve that appointment. That is a court uh, approval process necessary. Motion by Jerry Hahn, is there a second? I'll say. Second by Sam Hutchins. Any further discussion? All approved, say aye. Aye. Uh, disapproved? Motion for carry. Uh, next will be a reappointment of our EMA director, which is Joe Pruitt. Uh, there's a form here that, that the state wants you, EMA wants you to use. I'll provide you guys with a copy of that. Uh, entertain a motion to uh, reappoint Joe to that position. Motion by Bernard Ice, second by Keith Metcalf. Okay. Uh, all approved. Say aye. Aye. Disapproved. Motion will carry. Good job, Joe. Thank you. Great job. EMS report, Joe. Have your uh, monthly report in front of you for December. Uh, finished out December, 628 calls, 128 non-transport. <coughs> uh, Ten times we had to bring a truck from one of the end stations back to cover Bargetown because two trucks were busy in Bargetown or out of the way. <coughs> I would point out that on the calendar year, for the calendar year of 2016, we finished up uh, December 31st was 7,126 calls. It was up about 800 over last year. Um, the other document you have, uh, the last was court meeting, Jeff had uh, asked for a um, 
analysis of the loss per run, uh, what actually the uh, tax dollars have to kick in per run. <coughs> so I went back over uh, last seven years, started at 2010, and I ran calendar year because we're finishing up December and actually uh, probably would have gotten a better view of it if I went fiscal year. But if you start at July of 2010, just go fiscal year, you'll get kind of a, a game same. plan type. Pretty much the same. So uh, in uh, 2010, uh, the cost was $42.42 per call, and we were at about 5,200 calls. And for 2016, with 7,100 calls, a little more, uh, the cost is 5,209 for this year. So that gives us an average over that whole seven-year span of a cost of about 5468. Two months. Two months. Two months. Two months. It's gone up and come down quite a bit from 14, actually. You know, um, a clarification on July, you see a rather large, we, because we start over in July, zero. So there's not a lot of revenue that shows in July, but a lot of expense that shows in July, so that skews July just a little bit, but then it, it balances out over the next 11 months. How come 2012 sold up in July? I would, if I, I do not know for sure, but our income hinges on 65% of Medicare. I would assume that in July we got a lot of Medicare claims in. A lot of revenue came in that year. Expenses are pretty flat. I mean, each month we know the expenses are about the same, so the revenue had to offset that somehow. <coughs> okay. Any other questions? Any other bill? That's it. Okay. Jail report, Dorcas. Okay, today we have a total of 144 inmates. We have one on home incarceration, 38 state inmates. Uh, we have one serving weekends and he is a state of um, So we have an in-house total of 142. Of course, we've got both courts this week, so we're hoping that they'll get some of them out. That's all I have to do for you. Uh, landfill solid waste, John. Uh, after the New Year's holiday, it's a normal schedule again this week. Um, I don't know if Brad mentioned last time, but the new house arrived just before Christmas. So it's working. It's working real nice. Um, it's just that busy time of year after Christmas. The next couple of weeks are pretty busy, and with the wet weather, it's trying to make sure roads are good enough to get access trucks and stuff like that. But other than that, just normal operations. Okay. Recreation report. Uh, everything's going on as normal. Not doing the winter time in now. We got the <laughs> got the mulch down and got the white fence cleaned, and just clean up brush and clean up around the track. Okay, Brad, road department. All right, so we got to move more this <laughs> last week. Uh, they're going to service it today before we send it back out again, so we're back going again. So if you guys got a specific area, right now we, we're probably 90% done in District 3 and we're going to District 5 next. Uh, we did the dish work on Pete Hagen Lane. Uh, we installed a pole for the guys out at the landfill. Did some rock shoulder and Woodlawn Dugan and Wilkerson Roads. Uh, that's a good project for us to do in the wintertime, so if you guys know them anymore, let me know or give me a work order, we'll take care of that. Uh, Sam, you know this guardrail was installed on Woodlawn Road and Ed Powell Road uh, for those two particular projects. It looks pretty good, I think. Uh, Probably need to get the rest of those invoices. We, yeah, we haven't gotten invoices on those yet from those guys. So as soon as we get that. will finish that box cover. Yep, yeah. box cover's yeah. done and whatnot. Um, Jerry, we installed a culvert cross drain actually at Timber Creek. There's one down there where Timber Creek and how do you come together. The evidently was covered up at some point in time and we fixed it. Same thing. We did one plum run road, that was a tough one, a lot of traffic out there. We, uh, we Can you cut it. that tree right beside it now? Uh, next thing is we kept opening <laughs> ditches. <laughs> no, 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 right at the end of that pipe. There's a, there's there's one there's there's a little bush right where you put that pipe in. There's a bush. Oh, plum run? Yes. And it smacks. Is it in the right way? Yes, it smacks somebody's mirror every morning, and he tells me every day, can you get that? I will look at that, Brad. Yes. We will look at Just a little old portion of it. Yeah. Every yes, morning. I will look at it. Every morning. To and from the farm, I'm telling you. I'm just saying. He complains about it every day. Every day. <laughs> okay. 
Um, just doing dish work, guys, to be honest with you. Uh, Keith, we did the dish work on Fogel Road. We're actually down there today on Leslie Clark, that guy that called in that cross the yeah. on his engine pipe and taking care of the vehicle. Jeff, we've submitted the permit and I copied you on on Hylia. Guys, what happened is where they installed a new Louisville Road, they cut Hylia Drive in a section. And basically, we had a light out on where it used to intersect. It is a, an area that's needed. That'll be a unique uh, project because we got a gas line, water line, we got to get over top of or under to get electricity to that. So, you got all the confidence in the world. Right? Um, uh, you will say. Shovels are welcome. Yeah, they will be on that one. Uh, and I've talked to a majority of you guys uh, as paving comes up about next year. Let me know for sure on roads that you're thinking hard about because right now is a good time for us to go replacing forwards. And that's a good time between now and bulky item for us to take care of that. Small cross drains is what I'm talking about on the roads. You know, if it's a big project like Keith Patton Road is a different issue on the one. You and I have to get one out of it. A lot of these roads that you guys are fairly comfortable that you want to pave, let me know and I'll go look at these cross drains. It's a good thing for us to do right now. Uh, and then tomorrow we're going to go on and prep our snow stuff. We're just, it's yes, I'm a, so. There's either. I'll there's a mention of it. So we're just going to go on. It takes about half a day to get ready. Uh, we're just going to call them in at lunch time tomorrow and get it done and be ready if it comes in. So, okay. That's it. Okay, Court, have anything else on our old new business? Uh, what's this? Just informational purposes? Yeah, yeah, sometimes I, try, I'm not trying not to give you too much information, but the health department stays busy. Yeah. You just give us what you want, all right? Exactly. <laughs> like a mushroom. Okay, I, I got complaints because I was giving you too much a couple of years ago. Can I ask a question about it? Yeah. yeah. It, it used to be eight counties, uh -huh. and now we're down to six. Six, yeah. It's, it's been, it was seven until about two years ago. And Morrison County's out of now? No. Uh, no. Grayson County's not out. Grayson and Meat. Grayson and Meat. They're the two that's out. Enough to tax to cover that. Oh, they, they, we're the only county that does not have a separate health tax. And just to be honest with you, Grayson County, I was more involved. Then Meat County was already out basically for years. But Grayson County got out because they didn't want to follow the rules and regulations. Yep. And, and or, I'll be straight up, I told the judge that. I was chairman of the board when all that happened. That uh, uh, we had to, because of the state cuts and uh, federal cuts being passed down, three and four hundred thousand dollars a year, one year almost six hundred thousand. When people started retiring, we, we did not replace them like any business would do. You start trying to delegate more. And Grayson County had a couple of nurses that did not want to travel to the adjoining county to keep their jobs. And the, and the political side of it, the fiscal court wanted them to keep their jobs despite uh, the overall big picture of belonging to the district. And they kept their jobs because they had a million and a half dollars, two million dollars in the bank from their local tax. According to this, Ford retired, two terminated, two transferred, one medical leave, two reassigned, or three reassigned, and three reassigned. <coughs> Everybody was given an opportunity to keep working. Yeah. And they just chose, and no reductions in pay, but just, it just did not work out. And the judge uh, and the court decided they were going to be independent, and the independence has a price. Down the road, I think it will have a price. How much did it affect the budget? No. No. Actually, it's cost with the district probably. Now, does, does it have the opportunity to join again, or uh, that uh, could be debatable? That would have that would depend on the full board. board. Yeah, full board covers uh, the six uh, remaining counties, and a lot of a lot of doctors and dentists and physicians are on that board as well. So, who's on this board now? That Jim's no longer with us. Uh, Jim Jim can remain on the board. Okay. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's going to remain on for four or five months. Yeah, and see how it goes. Yeah. He's just definitely on the payroll. Yeah, and, yeah. and Jim likes to kind of stay involved. He kind of, sh I think, showed an interest in that. Yeah. The disadvantage is it's a nighttime meeting, uh, uh, six to about nine. Uh, and it's usually a dinner meeting and a business meeting combined. But he had like he liked it. Yeah. I mean, I talked I enjoyed uh, the uh, five or six years, five years at least, I was chairman of the board. Because uh, we went through some tough times. And, and during that period, we were able to pay off our building in the E-Town, right, you know, where that building. Mm -hmm. um, 
and, and now we, we still got a couple million bucks in the bank that we've done. We've survived where some health departments haven't survived by watching and understanding uh, our P's and Q's. It's one of the things that people don't see as a county judge, you don't think about, it, but the health department is something you're heavily involved with. Any other questions? Anybody else have anything? Yes, sir, Sam? Special meeting Thursday. Yes. Uh, notice went out to the media uh, this morning. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody have any comments? Entertain a motion to adjourn. A burner like I usually get burner first. His hand will go to the second. Second by Jeff. Uh, all approved. Uh, disapproved. Motion will carry.